Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make some different buns in your hair. And first we'll start off with a messy on the go bun. The only tools that you'll need are two hair bands. This bun is super simple and easy to do and just start off with your hair in a high ponytail. Then grab all your hair and twist it. It does not matter which way you twist it and make sure to twist fairly tightly because if you have any layers we don't want the layers poking out or and this will also control the flyaways. Then wrap your hair into a bun shape and then with your hairband on your wrist hold the bun down and wrap your hairband around. It does not ma matter if this bun is perfect because it is supposed to be messy and easy to do. You can also add bows and bobby pins if you want but I just wanted mine pretty messy. Next, we are going to do the braided bun. The only tools that you'll need are two hair bands and four to six bobby pins. Just start off with your hair in a high ponytail again and braid your hair in a normal braid all the way down. After you finish braiding your hair all the way down, Make sure the braid is facing out and twist the braid around your ponytail. And make sure that none, none of the loops are poking up and then just stick the end underneath. Then just grab your bobby pin and start pinning. So this is what I came up with. I think it's super elegant and pretty and it looks great with bows and flowers. Next we are going to do the no bobby pin sack or donut bun. And the tools you'll need is a hair donut or a rolled up sack with a toe cut off and one hair band. So I cut off the toe of my sack and rolled it up into a donut shape. And you could also use a hair donut for this but I like to use a sack. And then just put it over your high ponytail like so. This will make it super tight and it will not fall out. Then grab all your hair together and bring the donut up to the top where you have just your ends poking out. Then wrap the ends around the donut so, not, so your hair is covering the whole thing. Then just grab from the inside and roll down. This may take a few tries because it is very tight and takes a little bit of work. So just keep rolling down until, until you run out of hair and this is super tight and it turns out super good. Now we are going to be doing a traditional donut bun. You can also use the hair donut or the sock with the toe cut off like you did previously and two hair bands and four to fifteen bobby pins. So first use your high ponytail and pull your hair donut, donut through as like so. And then Put your hair around it like this so none of the donut is showing and then wrap a thick hairband around it. You can pull on the end so everything is nice and smooth. Then when you flip your hair back up, just twist the remaining hair on the outside around to make a nice twist on the bottom of the bun. So after you are finished bobby pinning, this is what you'll end up with and a bow or a flower would look nice with this too. Finally, we are going to be doing a two-stranded traditional bun. The only tools that you'll need for this is one hairband and a lot of bobby pins. And again, start off with a high ponytail and then split your hair into two parts, kind of like you're about to do a fish tail, but then just twist your hair in any direction that you want. And then just wrap your hair around your ponytail and bobby pin as you go. 
you'll just be doing this for the whole design and you'll just be twisting over and under and wherever you want to twist and keep bobby pinning. So after you are done twisting and bobby pinning your first strand, you're going to be doing the exact same thing to your second piece. Just twist it, wrap it, and bobby pin it. So this was my finished finished product after I added flower. I think it's super pretty and it looks very twisted and cool. And again, a special thanks to my good friend Susie for being my hair model today. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!